A piece of paper. Shape an isosceles right triangle with length of 10 units. Fold it along the bottom. And fold it again. After return, we will get three points at the bottom. This point in the middle is formed by folding in half, so it's the one half point of the bottom. The other two points are folded in half of middle, so the length is a quarter of bottom. We call them as quarter point. One half point. Three quarters point. Folding paper from vertex to one quarter, one half and three quarters points at bottom. What are the length of these three creases? Let's try to figure out the length of the crease in different ways. Additional challenge problem is if folding paper from vertex to free point at bottom. What is the minimum value of crease? Hello everyone, welcome to the Geometry Plus. Please don't forget to thumb it up and subscribe. Thank you first of all. Firstly let's figure out the length of the crease which the vertex is folded to the quarter point. We mark each point in letters. Connect segment CD. We know that point E is the midpoint of segment CD. CD and FG are perpendicular because they are formed by symmetry folding. D is a quarter of AB, so the length of AD is equal to 2.5. The length of AC is equal to 10. We can figure out by Pythagorean theorem, the length of the CD is equal to the square root of AD squared plus AC squared. It's equal to the square root of 2.5 squared plus 10 squared. That's equal to 10 times the square root of 17 over 4. The length of CE is equal to half of the CD, which is equal to half times 10, times square root of 17 over 4. Which CE is equal to 5 times square root of 17 over 4. Triangle CEF is similar to triangle CAD. So, EF over CE is equal to AD over AC, which is equal to one quarter. EF is equal to a quarter times CE, which is equal to a quarter times 5 times square root of 17 over 4. That's equal to 5 times square root of 17 over 16. Then let's go ahead and figure out the length of EG. Over point D make the perpendicular line of BC, which intersects at point H. DB is equal to AB minus AD, which is equal to 10 minus 2.5, which is equal to 7.5. Triangle DHB is also an isosceles right triangle, so HB equal to DH equal to DB over square root 2. That is equal to 7.5 over the square root of 2 which is equal to 7.5 times square root of 2 over 2. And in the isosceles right triangle ABC, BC is equal to 10 times square root of 2. The length of CH is equal to BC minus HB. We get CH is equal to 10 times square root of 2 minus 7.5 times square root of 2 over 2. That's equal to 12.5 times square root of 2 over 2. The triangle CEG is similar to the triangle CHD. EG over CE is equal to DH over CH. EG over 5 times square root of 17 over 4 is equal to 3 over 5. By this equation, 
e.g. is equal to 3 times square root of 17 over 4. So let's say that fg is equal to ef plus eg is equal to the 5 times square root of 17 over 16 plus 3 times square root of 17 over 4. fg is equal to 17 times square root of 17 over 16. fg is about 4.38. When point D is on one quarter point of bottom, the crease is about 4.38. And then, let's figure out the length of the crease when D is at the midpoint. Midpoint is a special point. So tangent alpha is one half. In this diagram we know that if alpha plus beta equal to 45 degree, Tangent alpha equal to one half. Tangent beta should be one third. We call back to the problem. Alpha plus beta equal to 45 degree. Tangent alpha equal to one half. So tangent beta should be one third. EF over C is equal to one half. E.g. over C is equal to one-third. E.F. over C plus E.G. over C is equal to one-half plus one-third. So E.F. plus E.G. over C is equal to five over six. E.F. plus E.G. equal to F.G. We get F.G. over C equal to five over six. F.G. equal to five over six times C. Then we use Pythagorean theorem to figure out that the length of CD is equal to the square root of 5 squared plus 10 squared. CD equal to 5 times square root of 5. Length of C is equal to half of CD, which is 5 times square root of 5 over 2. Fg equal to 5 over 6, times C e. Equal to 5 over 6 times 5 square root 5 over 2. Fg equal to 25 times square root 5 over 12. It's about 4.66. When point D is on midpoint of bottom, the crease is about 4.66. Now, let's go ahead and figure out the length of the crease, folding the three quarters points at bottom. We expand isosceles right triangle ABC to get a square. The other vertex of the square is M, extending the FG intersecting BM and N. The extension of CD intersects BM at the point P. Let's say BD is x, so AD is equal to 3x. AC is 4x. CD is 5x. The ratio of the side length of the right triangle CAD is 3 to 4 to 5. And the triangle similar to CAD is all this ratio relationship. That will help us figure each length value fast. We can get FG over GN equal to CF over BN from parallel lines. In the square, FN and CD are perpendicular to each other, and it's easy to get FN is equal to CD, which is equal to 5x. GN equal to FN minus FG. That is GN equal to 5x minus FG. We get the equation as fg over 5x minus fg equal to cf over bn. Let's figure out value of cf and bn step by step. c is equal to half of cd is equal to 5x over 2. Triangle cf is similar to triangle cad, so cf over c is equal to 5 over 4. 
CF is equal to 5 over 4 times CE. That is 5 over 4 times 5x over 2. Is equal to 25x over 8. In right triangle PBD side length ratio is also 3 to 4 to 5. BD is x, so BP is equal to 4x over 3, and PD is equal to 5x over 3. We know DE is half of CD. That's equal to 5x over 2. P equal to PD plus DE. P equal to 25x over 6 by the equation. Pn over P equal to 5 over 4. Pn equal to 125x over 24 by the equation. Bn equal to Pn minus Bp. Bn equal to 31x over 8 by the equation. After we get the value of CF and BN. We can get FG over 12.5 minus FG equal to 25 over 31. Fifty six times FG equal to three hundred and twelve point five by the equation. FG is about five point eighty eight. When point D is on three quarters of bottom, the crease is about five point eighty eight. The last problem when D is the free point on the bottom, what is the minimum value of crease, FG? Let's say the length of AD is the variable x. Firstly, we find the relationship between FG and x. Alpha is any angle between 0 and 45 degrees. Alpha plus beta is equal to 45 degrees. Let's make a perpendicular. We get tangent alpha is equal to x over 10. Tan beta is equal to dh over ch. We can get dh is equal to 10 minus x over square root of 2. ch is equal to bc minus bh. Equal to 10 times square root of 2, minus 10 minus x over the square root of 2. When we merge, we get ch is equal to 10 plus x over the square root of 2. We get tan beta is equal to 10 minus x over 10 plus x. When we get this equation, so let's go back to the triangle, Fe over C is equal to tangent alpha. That's equal to x over 10. And then, eg over c is equal to tangent beta. That's equal to 10 minus x over 10 plus x. After adding these two equations, fe over c plus eg over c is equal to x over 10 plus 10 minus x over 10 plus x. fe plus eg is equal to fg. Fg over C is equal to x squared plus 10 squared over 10 times 10 plus x. So let's figure out the relationship between C and x. The value of Cd is equal to the square root of x squared plus 10 squared. C is equal to half of Cd. Cd equal to square root of x squared plus 10 squared over 2. So we have this equation. Let's say fx is equal to x squared plus 10 squared cubed over 400 times 10 plus x squared. 
we need to use the knowledge of derivatives at that time, and if you haven't learned derivatives yet, keep passionate about math. You will learn it in future. The derivative f(x) is equal to zero. The original function has a minimum. We continue to get the equivalent. The first and last terms in this equation have x plus 10 and x squared plus 10 squared. The simplified equation is equal to x plus 10 times 3x minus x squared plus 10 squared is equal to zero. So we get a quadratic equation. 2x squared plus 30x minus 100 is equal to zero. x is equal to 5 times the square root of 17 minus 15 over 2. x is about 2.808. When x is equal to 2.808 the minimum value of crease is 4.375.